Hi, my name is Steve Shirovsky. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Maryland and director of the Electrophysiology Laboratory. I'm one of five electrophysiologists who really enjoy what we do and enjoy teaching fellows and, and e electrophysiologists of the future. We have a good time in what we do at our program and we really enjoy the, the time with our fellows in teaching. Our program's a comprehensive program, and what makes it special is our fellows get to do hands-on work very early. We train three fellows at a time, so they spend a lot of time in the laboratory doing cases and seeing consults on the floors. The type of procedures we do include all types and all aspects of electrophysiology, including placing devices that are pacemakers, defibrillators, biventricular devices, and even leadless pacemakers. We also do his pacing devices. Um, in addition, we extract devices when needed, and all aspects of clinical electrophysiology are also performed. These include things like ablations for supraventricular tachycardias, atrial fibrillation, atrial tachycardias, atrial flutters, and ventricular tachycardias. We have multiple 3D mapping systems that we train our fellows on uh, so that they get comfortable with, with that. Our fellows also participate in our uh, outpatient program and inpatient consult service so they learn how to manage patients both with antiarrhythmic drugs and with procedures. We've been training fellows in our program for over 30 years and have enjoyed watching them grow and develop into excellent electrophysiologists practicing both in academic and non-academic settings. Good luck with your search. Uh, we hope you're interested in our program and we'd love to talk to you further about it. Welcome. Um, my name is Tim Dickfeld. I'm one of the electrophysiologists at the University of Maryland. Thank you so much for taking the time and uh, looking at our website and uh, getting to know us. The University of Maryland is a very special place and uh, I think one of the things that sets it apart is the enthusiasm that we all have every day when we think about electrophysiology and come to work. And that affects the attendings, the staff, and I think that wraps off at the fellows the same way. And at the end of those two years, they are all leaving as superstars. And I think that is one of the great reasons why um, you should consider our program. You know, we do cover all aspects of electrophysiology in ablation and devices, but we do have certain concentrations, which I think make this place even more special. We work very closely together with our pediatric electrophysiology colleagues, um, Dr. Sudhir Vashist, and that allows our fellows early on from the first day in the lab to get experience in the little ones, learn about the differences in catheter management, catheter movements, and how to manage them, as well with ablations, as well as with devices or with medical management. Additionally, at the University of Maryland, we have the only regional center of excellence in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, directed by Dr. Um, Le Benoit, and that allows us to participate in the clinical as well as in the ablation treatment of those patients, and they are complex and are a great addition to our program. Dr. Fisher is the director of our reasonably large congenital program, and that allows another aspect of electrophysiology, which is unique and a terrific learning environment for our fellows because it provides access to completely different and complex anatomy and a different thinking process that otherwise are not so available. We have a very close collaboration with our cardiac surgeons, especially in our hybrid programs where we combine different ablation procedures and where we truly meet and uh, mingle and try to figure out what is the best um, approach for our patients with either endocardial, epicardial or open heart surgeries. All this translates into tremendous possibilities for all of our fellows also in the research world. We have pre-existing research programs in imaging, in genetics, in uh, registry data. So people that are interested can really jump into an existing structure and start work and be productive from the day on. Please consider, I uh, think this is uh, one of the most terrific programs you're gonna find. People are excited, we love our fellows. They really are the people that um, we are caring for and that help us grow. And um, we wanna keep our tradition of having excellent fellows training, excellent fellows alive. We would love to see you and meet you all and hopefully um, soon we can work together. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mohamed Haq. I'm a first year cardiac electrophysiology fellow at the University of Maryland. I completed my fellowship in general cardiology in 2020 and transitioned to electrophysiology here. I chose to remain at this program because of the excellent comprehensive training in all aspects of uh, invasive electrophysiology. Uh, the spectrum of procedures and devices we are exposed to as fellows 
is as complete. Uh, just during my first month of fellowship, I've been involved in uh, cardiac implantable cardiac devices, including biventricular pacemakers, subcutaneous defibrillators, leadless pacemakers, as well as EP studies for SVTs, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, VT, PVC ablation, as well as left atrial appendage occluder devices. This hands-on experience in the lab is well complemented by longitudinal training in, uh, in consultational clinic as well as device clinic. So we really get a longitudinal experience of following our patients over two years. Uh, more importantly, the uh, attendings we get to work with are not only experienced operators, but excellent and patient teachers. We get to really learn every aspect uh, of the procedures we do. And by the end of two years, uh, we really get to be proficient in the safe and effective uh, performance of these procedures. I'm also fortunate to work in a very collegial environment with great supportive co-fellows. Uh, the team also includes excellent nurses and, and techs, and, and we all are on the same team with a common goal of patient care. We have three EP fellows, and that really allows us some time out of the lab to also partake in scholarly activity, uh, including presenting at national conferences and publications. Good luck on, your, on the interview trail. We hope to see you here uh, during uh, your interviews. And from my experience, it's been uh, a great uh, training uh, process for me so far, and I think you'll find the same if you come here.